I'm here with uh, Tony Milch and Josh Burnham, Tony's new coach. Uh, obviously, Tony, you were unlucky in your last fight against Matt McCarthy for the Southern Area title, Super World Way. And I don't want to stick on it like a sore point, but a prod the wound. But it just for those who haven't seen it, just explain the Matt McCarthy fight, what you feel went wrong. Um, main thing is with the Matt McCarthy fight, ultimately, you know, as I was saying on the way down here, I felt flat from the get go on that whole fight. So, you know, a lot of things I could say I've done differently on the night, but I think, you know, mainly just being super flat on the night, I've not boxed into a set game plan, and, you know, just really I think the better man always said it, it's a knock away from Matt McCarthy, the better man won on the night, and I feel like I could have prepared. That up, and that's what I intend to do for my next fight. So that, and then we're, on that, we'll move into what have you been adding? What have you? I know you've been, you were saying a few things to me beforehand that you you thought uh, Tony could work on, but do you want to explain? Um, yeah, thematically yeah. What? <laughs> yeah, no, it's, yeah. I I was more of a I was more of a kind of come forward boxer. Tony's more of a boxer boxer sort of thing. So. I didn't want to change him as a fighter, as I'm just adding more things, trying to make him a bit more dynamic, getting a bit more on his toes, a bit more lateral movement, um, and being a bit more spiteful, I think, actually, to be honest. Spiteful? Being a bit more spiteful with his punches. It's not, like, not, I like it's, that. It's, it's an interesting use of the word, actually, because Phil Bowes, after he lost his English title fight, he, that was the first word he said, I need to be more spiteful. Yeah, it's like you said as well, you know, even before the McCarthy fight, you were saying, you know, you know, being friends with Daryl Williams, who I spied with quite a few, a few couple of times, you know, I've got, I knew I could always bang, and it's just bringing out that, bringing that out a little bit more, and, you know, sitting down a lot more on my punches. And is it just a case of sitting down on the punches, or is it working your way in to let your shots go better? I think, I think it's his kind of way around the ring, the ring craft, adding little things to get into the position to throw them more powerful, because he can hit naturally hard. Yeah. He, has, he hasn't got to sit down and really load up and throw a big punch. He punches hard. Mm. The two stoppages out of 13 minutes doesn't really reflect how hard he punches. No, well that's what that, and then that's why I said this is why Mac McCarthy kind of had a go at me afterwards because he thought I was slagging him off. But really, I was just saying yeah. all I did was pick out what I knew was the strength of yours in the video yeah, that's to right, say yeah. that you've got everybody I've spoken to about you that sparred you has always that's said. He's got, he can punch. <laughs> he's got flat, flat and slow, unfortunately, on the night, and it didn't, didn't get to land any big shots. Yeah. But if you look at that, if you look at that McCarthy fight, right, like, as I said, one thing I'm trying to add is yeah, a, bit, a bit more rhythm. The court was straight left hand, went on the ropes, sat on the ropes, and tucked up. Yeah. You know, I'm trying to add that bit of head movement, that more instinctive head movement. Now, I know he can do. You know, I know people who've known him since he's an amateur. Yeah, yeah he used to do it when he's an amateur. You know, it's not. It's not, it's not not there. It's, 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 it's not, not there. I said, and you know, on top of that, I'm trying to add more strength to his bow, things that he's maybe never done before. Um, that's what we've got. We've got a nice fight, February 10th. Yeah. So February, moving on to February 10th. It's. It, I mean, this is. We, again, this is something we talked about uh, pre-filming, but uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a big push, basically, one last yeah, big definitely. push. Yeah, uh, you, you were saying on Twitter, I'm not going to moan about being 36 anymore, but at the end of the day, 36, you've got, you're a realistic guy. As, as I said in yeah, the sports video, you're not, a, you're not yeah. an idiot, you're not going to be going, yeah, I'll still be fighting at 50. And the um, thing is with boxing, the old cliche, you're only as good as your last fight, and mine wasn't a good one. So it all depends, I'm not looking past February 10th. You know, you can do it in the gym, but you've got to do it on the night. So, February 10th, we'll answer the questions. So, February 10th is the first rung on a ladder. Yeah, exactly. Leading to what? What's, what do you think, uh, Josh? I really what would you realistically think? I realistically think? think, I hope, we can get another Southern United title shot before the end of the year. This is a good fight for us. You know, we've got a nice, it's, it's not an easy fight either. The guy's quite tough. Good six-rounder for him to showcase all his new skills, everything he's been adding to... Uh, to, to his game, and then I said we can get another another fight, uh, and then maybe an eliminator, and then hopefully get set for the end of the year. So uh, we're, we're sparring eight uh, rounds, aren't we? We're yeah. sparring eight. I mean, he, he's doing eight rounds now. We're still four weeks out. Yeah. So we've got plenty of time. As I said, um, yeah, just to showcase what he can do. So you still got four and a half. Four uh, weeks Saturday, yeah. isn't it? So four weeks Saturday. Four weeks Saturday. You'll call Beth McGreen. You know, what's the what's the address for tickets? It's superset.london forward slash tickets. So same as usual, superset 
all one word, dot London forward slash tickets, and then you can just order online, and then your tickets will be on the door for you. So if I don't get to meet you, you've got a link as well to put up. That'd be great. And if there's one thing that you want to show in this fight, what would it be? Um, just over all round game is like completely changed. So just stuff we've been working on, like I say, is I'm going to bring it out on the night. So. You know, he's already touched on a few things with the lateral movement, you know, more punch variety, but hopefully bring out a refreshed and rejuvenated Tony Milch come February 10th. Well, Tony is super and open. So, this bloke, this bloke, this bloke, this bloke, this bloke, he's come up and stopped you in. His game is his game is okay. You know, I'm not expecting an easy enough, Tony. And I don't, I, you know what, I, I don't want an easy enough. I don't want to come back to an easy enough. This is my, our first corner together. You need to be switched off. I want to be switched off. I want, I want that, like, that pressure of this blood to take you out of you. Yeah, it's interesting. You know, new team, new vibe, so bring it on. And we're, and we're, we're sparring here. We're sparring with punches. We're sparring with punches. We're sparring with come forward. I still the thing with me is, I've only recently had to stop my own pro group. Right. So I've still got... I, I still want to win. I'm, I'm being a glory hunter. Do you want to be in that ring, realistically? Would you I want to be in the ring, and I'm living it through Tony and the other fighters I've got. Yeah. I'm being selfish here. I have to win a world title. I have to win every title there is out there, <laughs> and I can't do it anymore. So they have to do it for me. That's it. So training know, every day. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm, I'm not going to have him training three times a week. I'm going to be there running with him, dragging him into the gym if he doesn't. I don't need to drag him into the gym. He comes to him anyway. But tell him when he's going. When he's got to be there, five days a week. Running however many times I tell him. I tell you what about the Good Guys Gym, we've got great spot. I've got uh, my, my assistant coach, Darrell, helps me out. Loads, he's always helping us help with the sparring. Um, and we've got other trainers here as well with their own fighters. So, but we've got sparring coming out already. You can see it out there as well. Yeah. Busy, it's yeah. always a buzz in the gym. There's other people here, so it's always, always good. I'm seeing me and Darrell, we don't miss a trick. Do you know what I mean? One of us is out there, one of us in the room, we're always looking at different things. You know what I mean? so, it's an exciting time to be a, a two gun fan. That's it, that's it. New start, new year, February 10th. February 10th. York Call, check out the links for uh, tickets to come and see Tony's, what's the word, rejuvenated Tony Milk two go. guns. Tony, Josh, thanks for talking to me. Cheers. Cheers, guys.